Big Cat here, paws up. And this is my landing page for BUSR. BUSR is the hottest new sports betting partners, home of the exclusive double down deposit within 24 hours of your initial deposit. Whether it's the first basket, first kick, or whether it's the first pitch, BUSR has you covered. Sign up now with the official sports betting partner, home of the double down deposit, 24 hours after your initial deposit. SeatGeek, for all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code KEYPOUNDINTV. Hey everybody, I'm your host, El Grande Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws up if you're rocking with the Big Cat. Welcome back to Cry Baby Ass Podcast, where we cry about shit that we have no control over. Today, we're crying about <laughs> the Panthers' first official depth chart has been released. What do I like? What do I do not like? Sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. If you see this face, that means I score. Before we get started, Pete. Yeah, scared me. Somebody's in here, man. Before we get started, peep, peep. Freaking geek. Look, man, don't be a peeper. No one likes a peeper. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. Pull up on your boy. I know you like the content. You like what I'm spewing. You either hate what I'm spewing. If you hate, still subscribe so you can hate me officially every time I go live. With that being said, <laughs> I don't know, man. Head over to Keep Pounding TV Podcast on uh, Twitter. Or excuse me, on TikTok. Follow me at Keep Pounding TV on TikTok uh, on Twitter. Be sure to follow me at KeepPoundingTVShop.com. Get you some really cool merchandise. Uh, the Discord, man. Join the Discord. All the links will be in the description below. Real cool community full of fans. Talking sports. Talking life. Just having a good time in the Discord, man. Uh, and last but not least, follow us on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, and wherever we else we are at Panthers Uncensored. Now, with that being said, uh, let's get into it, y'all. Carolina Panthers released their first unofficial depth chart here and um everything looks about right except a few things let's take a look at this offense real quick when you look at this offense you got dj moore your starting receiver akeem mcquanu left tackle brady christian left guard pat Fline at center mm. this has to be a typo this must be a typo we'll come back to that right guard austin corbett right tackle taylor moton you got two tight ends, that's Tommy Trimble and Ian Thomas, Robbie Anderson, and Christian McCaffrey. Now, let's go back to the, the pause that we just had. Uh, Pat Eflon, starting center. Bradley Bozeman on the bench. Now, I don't I don't want to go too hard because I'm pretty sure, you know, they've they seen, you know, weeks and weeks worth of practices. But if I'm not mistaken, didn't we bring this guy in? And wasn't this guy coming in off of the Baltimore Ravens season in which he had one of his best seasons of his career as far as passing and run blocking? Wasn't this guy screaming versatility as he used to be a former guard, but now center? So why the hell is Bradley Bozeman on the bench? The million dollar question. Is this another clear sign of wasted money or wasted Decision making. I don't know. Is Pat Fline just that good? It could be that. It could be that here. But this is a head scratcher here. You know, we went out here signed a guy who I thought was immediate plug and play. I watch his Instagram. I love his Twitter. Beautiful family. Does a lot for the community. Taking trips. But now you're on the bench? Huh? How, Sway? How? Head scratcher here. But hey. Maybe it's in God's hand. They'll figure it out. All right. Now, uh, let's move on here. Another thing is, if you look at this receiving core, Terrence Marshall is behind Robbie Anderson, Shy Smith. Third on, on the left wall, on the left receiver chart, man. Yo, you know, say what you want to say. Could be nothing. Could be he's not fully healthy here. But I think that's a big deal that they got him that deep. You know what I mean? Right behind DJ, they got Rashad Higgins and LaVisca Chenault. You know, this could be the first step to getting him, you know, e either out of here or put him on the practice squad. I don't know. I don't know, man. So, you know, but it's no surprise. I mean, it's not a surprise to us. Not not to me anyway. But, you know, that is something to keep your eye on here. 
Uh, they have Rashad Higgins probably going to be that third guy, uh, if not Shaw Smith. Um, second string running back, they got Deontay Foreman over Truby Hubert. But they did put an or option in there. So it says Deontay Foreman or Truby Hubert. I don't know why Matt Rule just doesn't like just uh, just straight, direct information. He has to give a out. You know, he's always giving an out to things. Just say Foreman is or he's not. I mean, you got to put an or right there. So it is what it is. I take it. I'm going to take it for the way it's lined up. And I'm going to take it that they like Foreman over Chuba Hubert, which is a good move. Slippery feet and slippery hands can't catch or keep his feet. So he's about one foot to the practice squad or out of here. <laughs> slippery feet at me. But, yeah, uh, I ain't mad about that. Foreman ain't showed much, but, you know, his body of work without uh, Derrick Henry give me a little optimism. So I ain't worried about it. Let's go take a look at this defense, y'all. Brian Burns starting right in. Derek Brown, Matt Ioannidis, YGM, Shaq Thompson at Sam Linebacker, Mike Linebacker, Damian Wilson, Will Linebacker, Frankie, yes sir, shout out to Dante Jackson, you got JC Horn, Jeremy Chen, and Xavier Wood rounding out the safeties. Um, The biggest news right here is Corey Littleton is backing up Shaq Thompson at Sam Linebacker here, and Damian Wilson is the starting Mike. Uh, yeah. Uh, ooh. you know, man, I'm not going to come in here. I'm not going to bitch too much, man, but I've been saying it, you know, it's linebacker core suspect. You know what I mean? This is probably the most suspect thing on this defense outside of our defensive line. You know what I mean? In particularly our interior defensive line and our rotational players and our, uh, our other end outside of Brian Burns, YGM. So still a lot of holes, a lot of question mark here. I say Imagine Dragons, man. Make me a believer, man. I, ju I just don't. There's certain aspects of this defense, like the secondary. I'm not worried about the secondary at all. I believe the secondary can go out there and cover Tyreek Hill if they had to. You know what I mean? Today. I believe this new secondary go out there to cover Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle if they had to today. You know what I mean? But when you look at this creamy middle and you got Damian Wilson, just got to wait and see, man. I like Frankie Louvre being a starter. He earned it. He deserves it, man. And I love his his, his uh, in injection of energy. His energy is, is, is like uh, drinking a coffee shot, man. This guy is he's hyper on the field. He, he, he's reactive. He flies to the ball. I mean, he's going to lower the boom. I like Frankie Louvre starting. I'm actually happy about that, really happy about that. Shaq Thompson, another guy. You know what I mean? Jacqueline Hyde. Is he Bruce Banner or is he Incredible Hawk? We just don't know here, man. Um, but when he can play, he can play. He's on. When he's on, I'm on. Wipe me down. I'm on. Wipe me down. I'm on. He's on. But when he's off, he's on. Oh, he's either injured or going underneath tackles and shit instead of scraping over top. I don't know. So we'll see what this linebacker core do. Just remember, I want to remain optimistic. You know what I mean? So the biggest news I take away from that defense uh, is the secondary. I mean, uh, uh, Damian Wilson, not Damian Wilson in the starting lineup and Corey Littleton as a backup. Does anybody, is anybody in favor of putting Brandon Smith in there? Does anybody believe we can slide Lou Vu over to Mike, bring in Brandon Smith? Is anybody okay with that? I'm, I'm okay with that. Figure it out. These niggas get paid money. Figure, figure it out. <laughs> I mean, it, nobody's going to fuss about having to Frankie Lou. I think I think Brandon Smith is very reminiscent of Frankie Lou. You know what I mean? They kind of play the same, man. They both like electric, big, hard hitters, man. So why not have them both on the field at the same time? All right. When you look at the secondary here, you got Dante Jackson, J.C. Horn, and you got uh, C.J. Henderson behind Dante Jackson, and you got Stanley Oliver Thomas behind J.C. Horn. Now, I know you guys see that Keith Taylor is lined up behind Stanley Oliver Thomas. Is this something to worry about here? Uh, I'll tell you this. Maybe. Maybe. You know, Keith Taylor struggled a little bit, you know what I mean, in the preseason. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. A lot of people are saying that his big lengthiness, you know what I mean? They were trying to build the Legion of Boom. You know, Scott Federer, he likes tall cornerbacks. Figure that Keith Taylor be ready to take that next step, but they got him at the the third backup behind J.C. Horn, or the or second backup behind J.C. Horn, with Stanley Albert Thomas in front of him. I think Keith Taylor Keith Taylor's gonna need a little more time. 
but I would keep my eye on him. If you know, if this, if he get when he gets his opportunities on the field, if he's still struggling, could not be, it may not go good for him. All right, just keep your eye on that situation. I ain't gonna say too much else. Uh, when we look at the safety spot, Jeremy Chen, free safety, Sean Chandler behind him, Xavier Wood, and Miles, my guy, Hartfield. Man, when I say I love me some Miles Hartfield, man, this guy deserves it, man. I'm excited to see him on the field. They got to find a way to get him on the field, man. Another energetic, you know what I mean, uh, engage and contact kind of safety, man. So, I, I, listen, listen, all in all, man, it's not bad. Of, 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 you know, initial roster here. Outside of uh, Pat Fline and Damian Wilson being our starter, I'm all right with most of it, man. If you look at our special teams, Andre Robert is our starting kicker returner and punt returner with Shaw Smith behind him. Johnny Hecker is our punter, and Eddie Panero is our kicker here. Not bad all in all here. Can't really complain too much. Um, so key takeaways, Terrence Marshall is buried in the depth chart behind Shaw Smith and Robbie Anderson. Damian Wilson is our starting middle linebacker. And uh, Pat Fline is our starting center. How do you feel about all that, man? Are you confident with this starting lineup here? Let's take a look at this D-line one more time real quick. I know we got uh, Davion Nixon. He's back with the practice squad here. So behind Derek Brown and Matt Ioannidis, we got Phil Hoskins and Bravion Roy. And we got McCall McCall. Um and behind YGM. So let's say YGM struggles. They got Henry Anderson we just brought in. So, you know, what am I saying, man? God damn it, I'm just ready for some football here, man. We shall see, man. I'm going to be sitting up here, you know, issuing a lot of apologies. Or <laughs> well, let's see. I'm saying, hey, nigga, I told you so. Mm -hmm. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this roster, man. How do we feel about week one with this roster? All right. Make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Head over to Keep Pounding TV podcast on TikTok. Follow me at Keep Pounding TV on Twitter. Uh, make sure you go to Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. Da -da 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 -da. Type in Panthers Uncensored for a podcast there. And um, shop with us, Keep Pounding TV shop.com. Get you some real cool podcast merchandise. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say. Let the church say, pause up, keep pounding, Carolina on top, forever, baby. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Be sure to subscribe, hang around for a little bit, and check out one of these two really cool videos.